Hi lovely people, how are you doing? So today's my tutorial is about editing and I'll be using Snapseed application but this is not sponsored by Snapseed at all. Uh, so stay tuned and just uh, watch till end how I create magic with my pictures using simplest of the tools. So before going forward, I want to uh, make you understand the logic behind editing uh, because that plays a very important role once you start editing and you have to understand what goes behind what's the concept of editing so when you see a picture uh, suppose this this is a picture of a scenery where there is sun there are hills and there is this river flowing by this one picture it consists of three different layers uh, one layer is of sun another of hills and last one is of the river so these three layering creates one picture and try to explain a little more see this is one layer about sun this is hills and this is rivers okay so one two and three three layers they combine together one upon other and then they create one picture this one so guys this is very important to understand this uh, because layering uh, plays a very important part when it comes to editing okay then let's start uh, so we'll keep two pictures in our album one will be background uh, suppose today i'm taking this beach as a background and another one will be our subject so uh, my baby is the subject for today we'll go to snapseed and open our background and then we'll go to tools we just don't want this lady over here so we'll use the healing tool to remove her from the background and she's gone so once this is done uh, we want to superimpose uh, a goose picture over this background so we'll go to double exposure and then there is this plus mark extreme left we have to click on that and then add whatever picture you want to add here so I'm adding this, a goose picture. Now you can see that the picture is not very clear. It is a little transparent. So for that, you click on this teardrop shaped tool here and then just adjust the bar if you do it extreme left you don't see anything you see the background and if, if you do it in the extreme right you see the subject <clears throat> so what we have to do we have to keep the bar in between so that we can see half background and half subject why this uh, is necessary because this is important so that we can adjust our subject with respect to the background You can place the subject wherever you want in the sky, left, right, top, bottom, wherever you feel like. So I thought of putting it here. Extreme corner. Or let me keep him here. The center. Okay, uh, now what we have to do before moving ahead, we have to adjust this bar to extreme right so that you can only see your subject you don't want to see your background okay because if, if this bar is not on the extreme right your picture will not be clear so this is very important to slide the bar towards extreme right so that the subject is opaque and not transparent okay now you see is your subject and a black background so now what we have to do is we have to go to the top section where you see an arrow 
next to the eye when you click on that you see uh, options of undo redo revert view edits and qr look then we go on view edits and then uh, you see double exposure click on that and then you have to click on this middle portion that that is brush sign like this when you click you just see your background and then your subject is not there so you don't have to worry your image has not vanished both the images are here it's just that i i made you understand the concept of layering that is very important here there are two layers of pictures but one is hidden uh, beneath another right so for that click on this uh, extreme right there is this half circle half triangle when you click one layer is visible when you click again the background is visible so both the layers you can see very clearly here now what we have to do we have to click it in a way that you can just see the subject because subject is small right so it will be easier for us to remove the uh, extras of the subject now use your finger and start rubbing on the edges use your two fingers to zoom in and zoom out right okay so now you have just zoomed it and will carefully rub the margins so that it looks very real and natural okay i'll quickly do it for you all be very careful with hands face eyes because they are very crucial when it comes to editing uh why i'm saying to zoom it because when you zoom out and do it uh then it's not very you know clear it there is this feathered this foggy type of margin which won't give a very clear uh look and feel to the picture so you have to zoom it as much as you can and then carefully omit the sides okay so this looks almost done and i have carefully removed the edges so people who are trying for the first time uh one thing can happen uh, by mistake suppose if you by mistake rub on the subject uh with your finger then you don't have to worry that oh my god where what happened now how will i bring his hands or his that uh, vanished area back just have to look down you'll see two arrows so when you click on one it comes zero when you click on another it comes 100 so these two arrows are for the two different layers uh one is for this beach background and another one is for uh, my baby so whichever will be 100 so that layer will uh, show for example now it is uh, double exposure 100 so the this uh, baby's layer will uh, show uh, for example see if i'm rubbing you'll get to see baby's layer you know i told you about two layers in the picture so you are getting that old picture back and when you do it down you will see the beach so you have to carefully play with it and by mistake if you happen to rub uh, anything which you didn't want to you can get it back using these two arrows so now i'll again do it for you 
See, I got it back. Okay, and hands also. Now I'll again put it back to zero and omit carefully the unwanted areas. Zoom in as much as you can so that the omitting is more natural and clearer. Now uh, there is this eye uh, on your right. What is its purpose? See when you click you can see the red zone. So this basically depicts uh, uh, the subjects area which all you have not removed. So when you put when you click on that all the red portions you have to remove carefully so that you know the picture looks more real this will only help to depict those red zone uh, where all your subjects unwanted areas are there Let's see you can carefully remove it this only helps suppose here this extra line you can see this was not visible like that but when you put this red eye, you can see that extra line. So this is for a more finished touch. I think we are good now. Yeah, so this is almost done. So you can see that it doesn't look out of place or uh, and out of shape or anything the dimensions are proper so you have to keep in mind small small things so that the picture looks more close to real after you are done with this you have to click this tick mark on extreme right and then at the top extreme left there is an arrow so this is your final picture now then you will put a export and then save a copy so it's done hope you like the video and you'll create some nice photos out of it and hope the video is useful uh, do share with your friends and families and let me know in comments if it was useful to you or not do follow me on instagram for more creative feed okay then i'll take a leave now thanks for watching my video and stay tuned for more thank you bye